So this concept of non-metastatic CRPC or M0 CRPC is that patients start on hormonal therapy when they have no metastatic visible disease, their PSAs go down, and then they start to go up, again with still no metastasis visible. They feel fine, except for the side effects of hormonal therapy. This concept is that if they continue to be watched, they'll eventually develop metastases and eventually develop symptomatic metastases and, and ultimately die of their cancer. So what's happened in the last few years is androgen-targeted therapies such as enzalutamide, uh, apalutamide, and at this meeting now, daralutamide, have all been shown to uh, have a benefit in preventing metastasis if you shift it to this M0 CRPC. So what we're really learning is that rather than wait for the patient to develop metastasis, if their PSAs are going up, even if they have negative bone and CT scans, they can be offered an, a next generation androgen targeted therapy in order to prevent metastasis. Is that important? I think it is, because patients don't want to have metastases. Metastases can be painful, they can lead to fractures and other morbidity that we're trying to avoid. The downside of starting early is that these guys feel pretty well, and so you're exposing them to additional uh, treatments that may have side effects and also costs. So that's the balancing act, but in general, the studies are very convincing that starting these types of treatments in the M0 or non-metastatic CRPC state have clinical, clinically relevant value.